Welcome to part 2 of the audio visualization in Unity tutorial by PeerPlay. In the previous part I've talked about how Get Spectrum Data works. And now we are going to put that into practice. Yes, we are going to start scripting in Unity. To work along with this tutorial you can find a download package in the description with all the assets I'm working with. Only the audio is missing because of bandwidth reasons, but I'm sure you have some audio on your hard drive to test with. So let's start making an audio visualization. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into scripts and create here a new script. And we'll call this audio peer. We know that we want to get the spectrum data from an audio source. So the first thing we need to do is require the component of audio source. So above the public class, let's type in require component and make it the type of audio source. Let's close it off. And now we can actually start getting the spectrum data. So let's start with a new void to keep things clean. Get spectrum audio source. And in the update we will call the get spectrum audio source to run. Let's first add a um, audio source so we don't have to do the get component every time in the update. So audio source is audio source and in the start we will say that audio source is get component audio source now in the get spectrum audio source we'll say that dash audio source dot is get spectrum data and here you can see the samples channel and its fast Fourier transform window to specify and first we need to get the samples so now this will get every uh, hertz as that's in the total spectrum of like 20,000 samples will be put into the number of samples that we will put in here so let's create first here a public uh, float of um, it's an array of samples is new float and we'll make this 512 so now the spectrum data if I put the samples into the spectrum data then this will make 20,000 samples into 512 so the zero in this array will be the deep base and 512 will be about 20,000 Hertz now let's say the channel, the channel is zero here and the fast Fourier transform window we can specify this here um, no window or using some kind of uh, black man hamming or hanning these ones are one of the best I think um, this is just to reduce the leakage of uh, the spectrum data now this will actually listen to the audio source every frame and get all the samples from uh, the spectrum data into this array of floats. So let's save that and check it out. As you can see the values were all changing on the audio but it doesn't make much of a sense yet but this will become more clear when we visualize the values that we have here so we've created our script that gets the spectrum data of our audio into samples and in the next part we will visualize this data don't forget to like or subscribe for more tutorials of peer play on game development